Hi guys, welcome to part two of the Hellcat build. So where have we got to? Well, I think we left you, left you last time with this, this here, the cockpit. So we need to finish the cockpit. Basically we need to do that. And um, that's been done. Fit the seat in that in. So let's get started. So I've sprayed some of this gear up. Um, so I can get build this today. Hopefully we can finish the cockpit once I can get the bit out here. There we go. Thank you guys, I say I always say it every time I know, but thank you for the comments guys. Uh, a lot of you want to see the flat gun being built, so I'll start a video my way through that as I'm building it in the stages. And I should try and get one of them up as well a week. So there's that bit. And thank you to the guys that bought me a coffee. And special thank you to Ralph. Thank you, Ralph. Who donated via the thanks button. Some of you have been asking about t-shirts, caps, or whatever. I'm looking into it. Um yeah i'm looking at, yeah i may put up a shop and sell caps and t-shirts or whatever but they're not cheap well not in my eyes anyway um so we'll uh i'll see talk about 20 odd quid for a t-shirt i find that a lot of money really As far as I can see, it don't cost me anything to set one up, so. We'll see. Go there, does it? Looks like it. I think I'll use some of the white glue for this. I think. And I want another one for the other side, don't I? So where's that one gone? It's fell on the ground. Where's this one? Is this right? Hang on a minute, this is wrong, isn't it? It's supposed to go that way, isn't it? Ooh, where did this fit into? I just know it's something. I don't think you're going to see this. Again, no pin marks here. Which. If need be, I should have to take them out. But, cause I, but I don't think you're going to see this. This will be in front of the the cockpit. If that's the case, well, I'm, I'll be able to get away with it, won't I? And just to make sure that goes like that, doesn't it? Does it or not? Does there... Showing it like that there, and let's just see what happens a minute. I want me to put that going down and sitting like that, wouldn't it be? Uh, looks like it, doesn't it? I'm finding with this though, particular kit, that whenever like that, they want to put it on. It's all very tight, they just don't want to go on. I'm finding with every part of the kit so far, that they want me to put that, push that on there, but it won't go. Because there's enough gap there. And I'm finding this 
throughout the kit. i done the engine as well, built some of that one and exactly the same. That's too wide. A little bit annoying really. It's just time game. Whereas if it was the right if it was the right size, you wouldn't have to do this. And that's how it goes. But it's just way tight. And I'm finding that with every bit of this kit. I don't know why, it's just there isn't enough tolerance on the everything needs opening up a bit. Matter of fact, these could come off, can they? I'm supposed to slide in there. It's just a bit warm because of that. Annoying, really. So, I'm trying to break that lower out. It just takes your time, doesn't it? it? Takes your time up. Yeah, I still need a little more off. Oh, he's nearly there. He's nearly there. This side, anyway. Put this side, you see, it's just just darn awkward. Apart from that, it's going to go very well at the moment. That one's in. Huh. Right, that one's in. Like this one. Yeah, that's better. Because he, he butts up against, uh, I don't even see that. Probably not. I don't know if the light hit it there. He butts up a couple of little bits there. Like he is there, so that was done. So, if I run a bit of glue down through there, not very 
let's see if I want to improve that. there these guys I'm going to put on with a bit of this oops a bit too much there what I've done here is swap the bigger brush with the little one of the green ones so I see it won't is that right No, let's have a look here. Yeah, he's supposed to be upright. Like so. And that one goes there like that, doesn't it? Whoa! Come here. that so let's see where this goes a minute so if I get plane here and we can just double check to make sure this is all going to line up and fit in so it goes. Da, 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 da. Ah, come here. Yeah, you're not going to see it, are you? So I'm not going to worry about them pin marks. So this goes. Let's go outside the package in there. That'll sit in there, won't it, like that. And it'll go like that. I take it. Yeah, that's got that there, that's, that's up against that bulkhead there. So take it, it goes like that. Then the engine will fit on there. I'm not, I presume these are the braces for the engine. Which we won't know until we've done the engine, will we, really? Da, 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 da. Oh, too bad. I could need be ungloom a bit if I need to, but they're in the fitting position, so and this is all right here. Yeah, that's all going to fit all right. Needs to come forward just a bit there to sit in these flange there, but it, it will do that. So I'm not too worried about that, like so. It's looking quite good, isn't it, really? Say so myself, it's coming on all right. So yeah, that will fit, so I'm going to leave that off. No, we aren't, we've got to put the seat in, haven't we now? So we're going to put the seat in. So where did that bit? Oh no, i got this bit to go in. Have I? Have I missed something here? Yeah, I missed a fair bit here. i got that to go in. And that one to go on. So, before it dries, I've painted this up. And they want me to put that one on. Where did that go then? That goes... Like so. And that sits, ah, sort of sits. So... Where did that go then? Because you're not careful. It's going to get in the way of your pedals. Oh, a minute. No, he sits in the front, doesn't he? So I nearly put that in the flipping wrong way, didn't I? If 
is that way facing. That's right. Makes me wonder how I get anything fitted, really, doesn't it? But don't think you're actually going to see this one. Yeah, flipping nose need opening up a bit here as well. This is still a bit wet. I usually get to where I want to go in the end. <laughs> it just takes some takes some time getting there sometimes for me. I blame the tablets. So I might can go over there. Right, so. Yeah, that's there. So that's done. Now I need B11. Which I know I've got because I sprayed it up. Whoops, too much off there. Don't make any difference, I did it. Right. So have a look here. So this goes. See, a couple more pin marks. Not going to see this, this is going to be buried in the fuselage, but they are it's just they're just covered in them. Which is a little bit annoying. I ah, see that's a brace type thing. That'll come in there and go in there, wouldn't it? Okay. So I'm going to try this again. As well, that the mark's facing that outward, so I just won't see them. This is fiddly. Very fiddly. So, I'm getting my head in the way. That one goes there. Uh, come here. So I can hold it. Hmm. We'll go. Come on. Can't see the flipping over now. This would have probably been done better off. The other hole to the hole's up there. So I always want to have the right hole there, yeah. So I'll just cut out the other flipping side. Oh. Right, that one's in there. And I've got oh, that there. That ain't going to stick in there, is it? Not going to let me. Right, now stay there. Then that comes along. God. Am I going to do that then? That needs to be held there. Doubt this will work. I'm going to give it a go. Give it a quick set in there. Just to hold it a minute. Meanwhile, this ball fell forward a bit. 
I see I need to take a bit of sprue, I need to take a bit of a nub of a sprue off there. I didn't want it that way, did I? Because injection pin, just in case you can. It's in the hole. Right. I can't. My fingers won't let me pick it up. And they want me to bring that in there. There. They stay there. Play ball. Like so. That's like that, isn't it? Yeah. So that must be a few, that must, that must be like an armoured plate in front of it, I would imagine. So. Right. And this needs to come out forward a fret. I'm not too worried about this because I can always unglue it a bit when it needs to go in. But it's about right. It's there. Just leave that a minute. So I'll just put that no, where to over here. So that's all done. So now we've got to work on the seat. The seat I've I put the seat together. It's frame, normal frame went on perfect all right in the back. So I need to get that one in now. So the seat, I bet the hose is too small for that as well, it looks like it just by looking at it. So where did the seat go, is that, right I see, yep yeah, that goes, I ain't going to worry too much, I'll just try a minute. I think they would have put this one in before they put the joystick in that end, really, wouldn't you? But he is going to fit in there. Ah, da, 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 da. He will fit in there, won't it? Yeah. There goes the seat, guys. The seat's in. Not quite in the position there. But he will be. Ah, no, he won't be. <laughs> Come on. You don't want to play ball tonight, do you? There. I say that goes. So, what's the best way of gluing that in? I'm not going to bother about gluing the top in here. Not really, because here we just is glued in the bottom. I can get that bottom glued in. That'd probably be just this good rather than make glue marks. Just trying to see. It's, if I run it down its leg. Whoops. <laughs> she fits in. Maybe from the bottom. There. So I'm going to leave the seat belts for a minute. Let all that dry off now. So it's looking reasonably good, isn't it? Ready for it, the kit. Need to put glass on there. I must remember that, chaps. But I don't want to do that yet. I want this to dry now. Because <coughs> this would then all fit in there. Quite nice. Not going to force it too much because it's in dry. That will all fit in there quite nice. So we can move on. 
I'll just leave that there to dry. Right, so, apart from the bow, oh, I've got a flipping tank to put in. I might put it in later. I want that to dry. If I go out, the stuff will start falling off on it. But let's move on, because I've done a bit of the, done a little bit to the engine. So what I wanted to do is get all this glued up and dried before I sort of went at it, because as you can see, you need time to let it dry, and uh, like myself. Excuse me. So I painted up the engine. I got part of it together here. Right. And there's the bit I've done so far. Um, just quite fiddly. Just need time to let it dry before you moved on to done the next stage, really. All goes together. Um, all a bit tight again with the Precision of the hose and that are too small. You've got to open them up a bit for it all. I haven't quite still got a little bit to do here, so we'll uh, get and do that, I think. So what should I start off with the back? I think with the back, maybe. Yeah. There's the back there. I'll start off with the back. So I've pretty well done all the back, am I? Yeah, so I need bits for the back. So this one here, I'll go in there. Like so. So. Going back, I could use this for the Revel stuff, I suppose. I'll use this. Good thing about this stuff, it don't run everywhere. So if you painted fitted parts, I find that stuff quite good at the moment. That will go there like so, because there's a key there, it'll key in like that, won't it? So I've done the flange, the exhaust, I presume that's the exhaust. So that's that bit. Now I need these two bits. Um, look at the colour of a few engines. These seem to be various colours, from sort of chromate to grey, uh, green, black. So I'm going to keep on chromate just to give it a bit of bit of colour, no you probably won't see any of it, and now they want these to go, want these to go in there like that, oh bloody hell, oh that's alright, that works alright doesn't it, yeah, because that goes on there doesn't it, like, come on, Probably goes Man, this is going to upset. This is a problem I thought I had because it goes that's right. The bigger one's down the bottom. Yeah, it goes like that. You want me to put that? I haven't glued that on yet, have I? I just run a bit of glue around there, I reckon. It will come pillory all the way around, won't it? Let's just hold it. And these bits here really want sanding down a bit, don't they? Take the paint off. I'm remembering from what you said. I don't know if I can scratch a bit off on here as well. Probably not. I 
as we'll see. Right, there I go again. Just I'll try this. Probably been better putting the front on first, maybe. Then I won't knock these things off. Take it these are air filters. That's what I take them to be. Someone could tell me. But I've got a funny feeling they could be air filters. They would be totally wrong. They need drying, really, don't they? So I'm not going to. Right, let's move on to the front, which I'm here anyway. So there's that one. There. So what do I need for the front? Just this guy. Uh, this one here yeah, also got little key points where they gotta go in. So which is there. I'm trying to do it and not knock off a whatever they are. They go in there like so, don't them? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. There they go, like that. Okay, so I'm going to put a double glue. That one. Double glue there. And one there. And then I'm going to put... Line it up. Like so. Hold it a minute. Hopefully they'll stay there. Yeah, sort of. And I got this guy. Now I know I need to put B13 on. I haven't done, I haven't sprayed them, so I just have to leave them off for a minute as well because I haven't sprayed them. I need to spray them. So this guy then will fit. Where did that one fit? Got a hug there and that. Like so. Because he's got a key, he sits in. So I put a bit more glue in here. Go like that. So just turning, because you just hopefully, like you did just now. There, oh, I didn't get in. Come on, you sat in first time for me, didn't you? There you go. It's all in. I'm just being careful not to knock off the air. Uh, well, I class as air fillers. They may not be air fillers. I could look up and have a look, I suppose. But B13 I should do later because I can uh, 
get them done later. Um, so that's the engine, pretty well done, apart for G7, which is there. I got them here. I should put a couple on, and I, I won't let you see me put them all on because. Probably take me ages to do. So, but I'll put a couple on. Stay there. Some G7. There's these little things. Okay. Kill their flipping tiny. I ain't going to hold them with them in my. It's just going to go ping in them. A little bit of wider ones here, which may help me. So they go in there all the way around. So I'll pop one in, just to give you chaps some idea of what's happening. And these will go in there like so. I've got quite a few of these to do. Put another one in. Don't you fall off and break your urchin. And we'll I'll put that one in. I'll put this one in. Another one there. So, ah, uh, just hang on a minute. He popped out from somewhere, didn't he? I didn't see me pick that one up. That was lucky. Get off my finger, you. Sometimes. So, guys, there's the engine pretty well complete. Um. So we're progressing quite well, really. It'll need a bit of a wash on him. Uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with it so far. Like I said, the engine, I started make, uh, painting it. I, it just takes you time to put these bits in. It, would took, it took me all one evening just to get those three parts there. You've got base part and then the top part. And to show that on video, I bore you to tears, man, like watching paint dry. And it's like putting them little bits in. To go all the way around, I'll be here for another half an hour, good half an hour doing that. We well, don't want to see me do that, so I can do that off video. But there, guys, that's the engine, which I think is coming along quite nicely. I've got the two bits going there, which I've got to spray up, which I forgot to spray. But he's looking all right, I think. And the cockpit's looking good. I've got to put that fire extinguisher in, which I'll do, because it looks a bit fiddly. Um, but I'll get that fire extinguisher in and just finish off the cockpit. And then next time, I think we're getting close to getting it all buttoned up here, aren't we? Next time, yeah, we start fitting it in. Got some uh, wireless, looks like wireless boxes and that to fit in. Shame, really, you're not going to see them, in all fairness. You can... I'll put them in, but I'm not going to make too much of a de job on painting them and detailing them, really, because you don't see them. Not at all. And we'll put the engine in. We can get the engine in that. That might be all one flipping video, that, in all fairness. Time I get me problems with the cockpit trying to fit E in the sticking in. Then they're on the tail wheel there. So we've got to make the tail wheel before we go in. Then it's to button it all up. Then it's the wing section, which looks quite... It looks like... What's that there, then? Oh, I should have, have a look at that. Ah, oh, that's basically cables or pipes coming out of the engine and back through. So I was looking at the... Apparently, you can have the gun bays open in that. Which looks quite interesting. So I may even have them open. They look all right. They look detailed up. Just got a plan. What I'm going to do? Put this one on. 
So I usually like my dials put on, I usually like my planes put on a dial of some sort so far. So I've got to work out what I'm going to do with this one. A little bit of an idea, but not sure how I'm going to do it. Without spending money, you could say. So there, guys. I call that a night. And uh, you guys have a good week and stay safe. And thank you, everyone, if you got this far. Much appreciated. I'm quite humbled by all your replies and comments. I really am. I didn't, you know... Like I said, I'm heading towards 2,000 subscribers and uh, just blown away by you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a good week. Bye.